Kevin Burke joined by head coach Brooke Knight. Coach, about 15 games to go in the season. How are you feeling with coming down the stretch here? Well, I mean, we've positioned ourselves to make sure that we got to keep working at it. Um, we've had some some ups and some downs, and uh, we're going to have to fight to get, get to the playoffs. I mean, there's a couple of hot teams right now. Kelowna's swinging the bats really well. And, uh, you know, our guys are coming together, though. Hopefully uh, we get it going today. How do you compare this team to previous teams that have made a championship run like last year? You guys got hot in July. Could that team go on a run like this? Yeah, you know, I, I went and looked back at last season. You know, we lost five out of six, went from first place to fourth place. It was a log jam, and then we figured it out right about the same time and, and cruised to the end. So hopefully that happens. It's not easy. you got to work at it. Um, you got to fight for it. And, uh, you know, I hope that uh, this group can figure it out. I do feel like we are coming together, though, and, and guys are really uh, barricading for each other. What's the one thing you want to see out of the final 15 games, playoff spot or no playoff spot? What do you want to see out of these guys to finish off their summers? You know, just, just quality effort, and I think we're getting that. I, I'd like to see great at-bats. Um, I'd like to see pitchers making sure they're pounding the strike zone, not giving away free bases. Um, and we're playing smart baseball on the base pads. You know, that we, we're, we're, we're fast, but it doesn't mean much if you're going the wrong direction. So, you know, we've, got, we've, got, uh, we've gotten better, and, and I'd expect guys to continue to perform and find a, find a way to, to get over the line. Have there been a couple guys that have impressed you so far this season? Yeah, I mean, we've got a lot, of, a lot of things that have impressed me. I mean, on the mound, we've been pretty, pretty good out of the starting, starting arms. Uh, Perez has been good, Stewart, Granger, and Beatty. I mean, you can go down the line with those guys. Um, Gallegos has been a nice surprise. He can really hit. He's got an act to put the barrel on the ball. Austin Barr, a young bat, but when he gets into it, it flies a little bit. And, and Waylon's obviously been our, our rock. Uh, him, and, him and Mally in the middle of the lineup um, really give you good at bats. They tend to put the ball and play hard and uh, give us a chance to win. We just got to get those other guys on. So it's just the sense of finding consistency over these final couple games, right? Absolutely. I mean, you can't give away an inning or two or three and then hope to string five hits together or, or to put some pressure on the other guys so they kick a ball around the infield. You know, you've got to scratch and claw every inning, and uh, and it wears teams down when you do that. You know, when you've got a guy in the mound who's constantly trying to keep his eyes open for guys moving on, moving on the bases, then it changes the game. So that's where I feel like we've we've fallen off a bit, and um, hopefully we continue to get guys on base so we can make things happen. All right, overall throughout the season, what's been your favorite moment so far? I think I have um, a good idea what it was. You know, it was either Barnes <laughs> Granny or, or Wayland's uh, triple the other night. I mean, that was a big hit for us. We needed that against Ben. And, both those at bats were great at bats, and um, it's it's always exciting. Obviously, you get a key hit, drives two, three runners in, and uh, th those are things you remember. We've had a couple of really nice pitching performances, and I'm hoping today will be another one of those days with either Stu or, or Berkey going. And uh, Dylan's got a little higher pitch count today than he's had, so you know it, he, there's a chance he could go the distance if he's throwing well, and I, I'd love for for that to happen for him. How is it different playing a team the second time around? You get a team like Kelowna coming in, or playing the Falls after the All Star break, who's red hot now. How is it different playing the team the second time as opposed to the first time? A little bit, because the first time around in this league, you know, you've got different faces, different names. So uh, you got to you got to try and educate yourself a little bit on what you've got coming your way. And um, climate's obviously very hot, and you know we got to get past these Falcons first. So you know we learn a little bit every time we play guys. Hopefully, uh, you know you figure out ways to get a, a small advantage here and there. But at the end of the day, you know none of that means much if you can't throw strikes when you need to and, and get it put put barrel on the ball when you need to. So. That, that's the basic part of the game that we just got to really focus on. All right, Coach, thanks for taking time with us today. Good luck out there. You bet. Thanks, Kevin. Hey, Coach Brooke Knight, I'm Kevin Burke.